Hello guys, Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. This is episode 14. Today we're going to be doing extra operators because I forgot some operators in the previous operators video. So I'll cover those in here. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on notifications, and check out my other videos too. Also leave a comment below. All right, let's get on with it. So basically, the ones I forgot, and I talked about this in the last video, is and, or, and the question mark operator. Okay, those are pretty much the main ones that I forgot. So I'm gonna talk about this one. So let's say we have an if statement. Or we want to set, let's not do an if, um, an if statement, let's just have a bool. So let's just say we, for example, we have a public bool. Now let's say we wanna set example in our method. Obviously I don't have the public start void main, but or you should know that by now. That you need to have that the public static void main there we go so we're going to set example equal to let's say we have an int as well public int high equal to six so let's say we want to set this either the true or false so what we can do is um okay so let's say we have high and high two and this is equal to seven and high two is equal to six so let's say we want to set this to true if these two are equal to each other or if they're equal um the specified condition so what we can do for and we can do if high or not high or not if sorry <laughs> if high is equal to seven and high two is equal to six then this will be true. Otherwise, it'll be false. So how does this work? So basically, if both of these are true, then it'll be true. If one of them's false, it'll be false. So I'll kind of make a table for that. So let's say we have L and right. L for left, R for right. So let's say L. So this will be our output, I guess. And we'll put this as a result. Hopefully this is not too confusing. So if left is true and right is true, then the result's gonna be true. If left is right, or <laughs> if left is false and right is false, then of course the result's gonna be false. However, if one of them is false, then the result is false. Same vice versa. Works that way, just like that. So take a look at that real quick. Let's say one of them isn't equal to that. Let's say high is equal to seven now, or equal to eight. So now this statement's false because this one's false, this one is true, okay? And basically this and statement, it checks for the first one first. So if this is false, it won't check for this one because it's automatically false, right? Okay, but however, if this one's true, then it's gonna to check to see if this one's true as well. If it's false, then it'll be marked as false. Okay, so let's do and, let's do or now, which is the double bar. So now it'll, this will check for both of them. If at least one of them is true, then it'll, this will be set to true. So this is marked as false, but this one's marked as true. So it can either be both or at least one of them, right? Okay, so this is true because this one's true. I'm gonna make a little table for this too. Okay, so we have our table down here. So let's say the left is true, and this one's true, and the result's gonna be true. If both are true, then it's gonna be true. So let's say the first one is true, but the second one is not, then it's gonna be true. Same thing, vice versa. But if they're both false, then our result's gonna be false, just like that. Okay, hopefully that makes sense. So now what we can do here is the question mark operator, okay? So let's say we want example to be an int as well instead of a bool, okay? So we're gonna do, we're gonna mess with only with, I don't know what I was thinking, but also I don't remember if I had two equals there. If I did, my apologies, I meant to have one. But okay, so let's say we have two ints, okay? So what we can do here, we can use all operators or two operators and one in the same thing here, right? So let's say we have, let's check if high is equal to eight, okay? And high two is equal to six, right? Question mark, 
we can have our true or false. If it's true, example will be set to 10. If it's false, then we can set it to zero. Something like this. This is really good for strings too. So it's like if high is equal, so like for plural stuff. So if high is equal to one, then we could print out the plural or the non-plural, the singular version of the, the string. And then here, if it's plural, then we do ab s, right? So if we had coins in our string here, now let's say we want to add, so it would be just coin, right? So what we can do here in our string, again, we're putting variables inside the string by using the curly braces and adding the dollar sign. What we can do here is if high is equal to one. Also in here, we need to have parentheses, okay? Now in here, we can put question mark. And if it's equal to one, then we're just gonna leave it as empty. Otherwise, we will put an S in it because it's plural, like that, okay? So that's kind of what the use is for. And of course, many other things. Making really short if-else statements. <laughs> I keep knocking things over. Um, okay, I think that's all. Also, right, let's, for example, let's set high to equal to four. So now this is false because this may be true, but this is false, which also makes it false. Okay? Which means example will be zero instead of 10. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like on this video, comment below any suggestions or any questions. Subscribe if you're new, turn on notifications, and check out my other videos. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace.